So today we're going to hire a complete stranger to remix La Campanella by Franz Liszt. La Campanella is one of the most annoying and difficult piano pieces to play, which 99% of pianists hate. But I love it. So today, I'm hiring a bunch of music producers to turn this exhausting piano solo into an absolute epic remix. Bang! So we're gonna send this exact same message to all of them and see what kind of epic music they come up with. All right, so this person is called Ant Mass Studio. He says he will do an epic EDM ghost production in any genre style. He's here to help you create the track of your dreams. <laughs> That's my number one dream since being a child. So the gold package label ready track is $110. So I think we'll go for it. This next person is called Echo's Heart and he will do melodic dubstep and bass ghost production. And he's charged you $150. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Order now. <laughs> this guy really needs your business. So you guys should order from him too. <laughs> All right, so cool, let's continue. All right, so this next person is called Armand Bro something, and he will compose epic orchestral cinematic music with a realistic orchestra sound. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good. $240 for a standard package. I mean, it's a little pricey, but I think we'll make it work. I think I'll just have to skip out on a few Chipotle burritos this month. So this next person is called Carlos Epic Music. He's charging $65. Seriously? That's dirt cheap price for orchestral music these days, all right? I mean, Hans Zimmer is charging like 65,000, so. So for one of this guy. <laughs> all right, so this next person is a new pro seller, which means he just got verified. And he is charging a lot. $595, holy moly. He's been on all these records and worked with all of these DJs. I mean, come on, that sounds pretty legit to me. It's a lot of money, but for the quality, I hope it's worth it. Uh, this next person is called MV Steak. Mistake. Uh, that's not very promising for a producer's name. He's a level two seller and he's charging $180. $180, go for a mistake, don't be one. <laughs> All right, so this next person is called Yi Fei Tang. 8-bit synth or chiptune music. Okay, so I think he's Chinese, just like me. If you couldn't guess already, I am Chinese. So let's see if my brother from another mother can do a nice music here. And this guy has 900 five-star reviews. Wow, that's amazing. All right, this next producer is called Dumix Official. He's been on a lot of these big labels like Spinning Records, Revealed Records. Sony music, I mean, that's amazing. Highest quality EDM song, only $150. That's incredible value. You can have up to 999 seconds, which is ridiculous. Like who is gonna, <laughs> what's 999 seconds? That's almost 14 minutes, right? Seconds. No, that's like 16 minutes <laughs> of music. All right, we're not trying to make a short film here, so. All we need is 90 seconds. All right, so now I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and let these guys do all of the hard work while I enjoy the fruits of their labor, okay? So once I snap my fingers, we're gonna move ahead by two weeks and see what they come up with. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, so it's been about three months. And you know, it took a while because I had a concert in the middle of the time period, but the producers all got back to us. And instead of me talking to the producers this time, my camera guy, Braxton over here. What's up though? He talked to the producers and he got the files from them. So I don't actually know how much each of the tracks costed when I'm gonna listen to them. Let's start with the first track by producer number one. I like this lush texture. Okay, the drums are coming in really hot. What is that weird sound? I don't like that honking sound. I like the war drums. Ooh, and then there's a violin or a cello. I don't know. The harmonies are good. Okay. The, all the orchestral arrangements, it's really getting my inner epicness going. The chorus. Oh. It 
it's epic. It's so epic. Wow, that was honestly epic. There was that weird like glitchy sound he used in the beginning, which I thought was really not necessary. Overall, it was a solid effort. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that this one was 125. And that is incorrect. It was $68. $68? For $60, I'm gonna have to bump his score up. I mean, that's a lot of work for $60. Oh my goodness. Let's move on to producer number two, okay? Okay. Ooh, I love those heavenly chorus sounds. And that little beep in the background, it's actually kind of working. I like it. I love the ambiance that this whole worldscaping has created. The producer definitely has a good feeling of this magical vibe. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous track. Ooh, I like that. I like this. Okay, I actually like that a lot. I love the dreamy soundscape that he created. He didn't really build up the tension as much as I would have hoped. So even though he's very good at creating this beautiful soundscape, it didn't quite fit the piano melody as well as it could have. So structurally, I think he could use some work. And I'm gonna guess that this guy costed uh, 120? I really hope it's not more than that. 110. Okay. Oh, look at you, man. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that bad. That's a fair price for his quality. Cool, let's move on to the next producer. Okay, I like the... Ooh, that came in fast. Okay. I like how energetic this is. I feel like it really fits the vibe of the melody. Oh, I love this. It's just got that bouncy texture. Okay. What is the sound? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. This guy went overboard with the growls. This is insane. <laughs> wow. This guy was on some crazy substances while he was making this. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think he was just amped up on amphetamines and, you know, Prozac or whatever the thing kids are taking these days. Um, I mean, the beginning was great. I loved how it started. I loved the energetic club style dance vibes in the beginning. And then once the drop hit, the growls were honestly too much. But overall, I think it was a solid effort. So I'm gonna guess $95? That's not right. He actually cost $150. One f <laughs> You were close. I mean, I'm I wasn't that close. bad. I wasn't that far off. Let's move on to the next producer. Mystery producer number four. Okay, okay. Okay. This is the chipmunk guy, the chiptune guy. I know it. I like the, the synth sound in the background. It's actually really cute. This is like unicorn pop.
nice. This is like a Nintendo 64 game. Just imagine Mario and Yoshi jumping around. Yay! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like it. It's really upbeat. This is perfect for a kid's birthday party. <laughs> Nice. Honestly, this is like the ultimate Mario Party theme song, you know? And I know this was the chiptune guy because of the sound choices that he used. You know, it's, it's got its own unique style. I can't hate on it if it's unique. Um, and I think he was $100, right? Oh, yeah. 95. 95, yeah, yeah. So and I think that's a fair price, you know, because again, he didn't try to promise any kind of epic orchestral dubstep. You know, he's like, I'm the chiptune 8-bit guy and I'm gonna give you what you want. So in that regards, he delivered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next one. I like how big this sounds already. This dreamlike vibe. I like how the harmonies are still static. They're not moving yet. Okay, this guy went in a little bit different direction. Oh, I like how it's evolving. The hi hats coming in. Okay. Okay. The, the low pass uh, drums coming in. I like how much tension this is building. Okay, okay, everything's fading out. What the? Dude, they took out the piano melody, but they maintained the vibe. No, nice wubs. Okay, the piano's coming back in. Okay, I like how the harmonies from before came back in. I love how much tension this is building. This is insane! Okay, just skip right to the drop. Let's go. This is some Tron shit. I love it. I'm not even mad that he's not using the piano most of the melody right now. Dude, this is so good. This is so good. <gasps> he didn't even use the Andy Moonlight Sonata part, but that's okay. That part was kind of random anyway. I enjoyed that way more than I expected. He cut out between the piano and the rest of the synth-like tracks, but overall the sound was just so structured. I'm gonna guess $230 guy. That's incorrect. He was actually worth $155. Oh my gosh. This guy was nice though. Yeah, it was really good. the musical sense that this guy has is on point, you know, because it takes a lot of creativity and intuition to be able to know when to use the piano melody effectively and when to drop it out so that you can make a more clear statement with your EDM. So, right. on point. And his production quality was on point too. <laughs> I already said that, Braxton. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'll wait my turn. <laughs> yeah, Braxton doesn't really get paid that much, so. <laughs> Here we go, producer number five. This sounds really bouncy for some reason. <laughs> what is that chipmunk sound? Okay. This sounds like a little kid's dance party. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that xylophone at all. Or whatever chimes sound. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what the? Where did those dump up sounds come from? And it's not even the drop yet. This guy's on some crazy crack cocaine right now. I wonder how long he spent making these growls. They're really complex and intricate. <laughs> This guy has no sense of harmony whatsoever. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, this is promising. Okay. This guy definitely knows how to do dump step. Okay. Ew. Wow. I kind of feel bad because he clearly put in a lot of effort into this track. Like he spent a lot of time on those growls and he really put in effort to make some changes, do something creative with the melody. So I appreciated that. That being said, literally every single musical decision he made was just weird. It was defying expectations in every possible way, but not in a good way, you know? I remember he had mentioned that he isn't really big into music, musical theory. And when he said that instantly, I was just like, okay, we kind of have a lost cause here. Now you kids know why music theory is important. Stay in school. I'm gonna guess the cost, okay? I'm gonna guess that this was the $50 guy. No, he was 130. What? We paid 130 for this thing? It's an injustice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, his, his production is pretty good, so we'll give him that. Alright, if there was something that was less music theory intensive, he might have done a good job, actually. So he should be doing some hip-hop. <laughs> some, you know, gangster trap, you know? Alright, moving on. Okay. I like the Tiffany sounds. Okay, this is definitely one of the orchestral producers, I think. Wow, a definitely orchestral. <laughs> the brass coming in, the strings. Okay, everything's back in now, it's gonna come back in. Percussion could be a little bit more interesting. Yeah. The chorus, everything's epic. Man, this guy's been watching too much Lord of the Rings, because honestly, that sounds like <laughs> Aragorn's you know, speech and then they all go off to war together. He did a good job with, you know, choosing the right orchestral sounds. I think his percussion was a little weak, okay? Was it $85? Actual price of it is $360. What? Yes. This is the producer that didn't get to finish. Is it a Ukrainian producer? Yeah. Oh shit, really? Yeah, you're talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's definitely not in the right production environment. We we pay three sixty for the Ukrainian guy. It says you paid one hundred though for it. So he was one of the, the, the special cases where you actually paid less. He originally was charging three sixty, but that was before the war started. So I want to encourage all of you guys. We're gonna have a link in the description where you can check out his profile and also support the Ukrainian defense. Now let's listen to mystery producer number eight. Oh, okay, it's slower. More attention. Okay, that's an interesting echo sound. Ooh, I like how he moved the melody into these synths. It's the wub. Okay. That, echo, that vocal echo is weird. <laughs> and he keeps using it. Okay, there's some really cool sound effects going on right now.
What is this weird talk box sound coming out? <laughs> it's too much. It's like an electric guitar. Hmm. He did do some counter melodies with that. It's interesting. Going. It's very clean production, I like that. And everything's kind of popping. But this sound choice is really weird. It's like a squeaky sound. Too much squeakiness going on. The sound effects were way too squeaky and I I just I just don't understand the kind of choices that he made. Braxton, stop reacting. <laughs> it's distracting me. And I feel like all of those different sound choices were too much. It was too creative, you know? At least on the first listen, I wasn't too impressed by. <laughs> Braxton is looking at me like I'm committing a crime. This was my favorite track. This was hands down my favorite track. But this, I thought this was just so well produced. It was like how he mixed it was just so clean. And I also liked the sound selection. I liked the, the instruments he used in it. It was weird. It's weird what? sounds. What? Yeah, the, like, I mean, the, it was like a talk box sound. It was like an electric guitar sound, a squeaky sound. Wow. Well, are we at the zoo or something? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know how much this costed. I'm pretty sure this costed $595. And you're correct, you got one. I knew it. I'm about to get fired. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys the reason why. It's because Braxton loved it so much. <laughs> and when you were reviewing the tracks, you were like, yo, this guy is fire. <laughs> and the thing is, maybe me having that, that knowledge that it was $5.95 may have sold me a little bit more on it. Yeah, but you were biased. <laughs> just because of the price range. But I watched this. Y'all who are watching this video right now, when you listen to this, I bet this is going to be one of your favorites. <laughs> These guys came back from the zoo together and they were doing some mushrooms, all right? So ultimately, Braxton was right. I ended up hiring Amercy Music for the full version of La Campanella Nightmare and performed it at my concert in London a few months later. Let me know which track you liked the most. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, check out the producers on Fiverr if you liked what you heard. Links are in the description below. See you guys in the next video.